You have a problem with authority. Some, some, somehow the rules do not apply to you. You believe that you So I've just been let in to PRSC and let me tell you, I'm looking around, I just had a quick look, and some of the art here is absolutely stunning. And this is all about art that is art as artivism and change. So I'm just gonna take you around, make your own judgments, and you know, sit back, relax, and enjoy. PRSC, or People's Republic of Stokes Croft, was founded in 2006, and their whole ethos is about how street art, community, artivism, and people getting together and just doing beautiful things can be something that really uplifts and changes the community. Now they've been going from strength to strength since then. Now they've got a little venue just in the heart of Stokescroft where they conduct events, run festivals, and generally just serve the community with all of their artistic needs. I'm really a big fan. I can't wait to show you some more. Stay tuned. So I've just been here for a little while and some of the artists are starting to show up and we're gonna see if we can sneak over and get some conversations with them and some of the organizers. Come along. Here with Lisa. Yeah. And tell us your name. Uh, Oshi. Oshi. Yeah. So how do you guys know PRSC? And um, tell us about yourselves. Um, so I am one of the directors here at PRSC and I'm also the manager of this venue and the events and stuff that we put on here. I know PRSE just by coming in, getting involved, and uh, I've taken part in a few shows here, and uh, yeah, so I've got to know Lisa over the time, and I'm, a, I'm an artist myself, so. Do you want to come show us your stuff? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah, it's kind of a classic thing. Um, so you're kind of one of the people that we wanted to talk to about PRSE, what PRSE does and what it means to you. Uh, as a member of the local community. Having this space, uh, for me, uh, it's been a really kind of big part of my kind of creative growth. Just having a space where PRS has been very open and very kind of accepting and sort of let me, yeah, let me kind of exhibit anything I want, like these pieces. And there's always, like, there's lots of, um, there's always these great uh, sort of, same sort of political messages and stuff that, you know, like, I, I feel that is really essential, very important uh, to have yeah, an establishment like this within Bristol. You know, someone that's actually uh, very active, yeah, an organisation that's very active and um, very concerned about the community. So uh, yeah, it's just been a really great space to uh, to be. It's luckily for me to be a part of. Uh, so Lisa, you know, that's pretty awesome to hear about some of the work you're doing and how it's affecting people in the real world and what's going on. So um, how do you manage to find the time to coordinate all this and also to bring together so many disparate voices into one kind of focused spearhead that does make a difference? I mean, to be honest, like, the way we look at it, space is at a premium. Cultural spaces are so precious and so rare in our, in our community. If you could open the doors and just reach out to people and say, here, come in, here is a space that you can express what you want to express and give. The art is already out there, the people are already out there, all the ideas are flowing and there's so many people that don't have that platform, just that opportunity, whether it's rehearsing or exhibiting or creating your work, you know, like for for us it's pretty easy and it is a joy because we don't know what's going to come in through that door, you know, we don't know. <laughs> well, you know, we every now and again we get people like Oshi just wandering in going, I've got some art here, I was thinking of like maybe putting it on the wall and be like, yes, come get involved. Like, yeah, this man's been like a stalwart of the People's Art Fair, which is what we're currently standing in. I believe you may have exhibited in everyone. Yeah, it's quite so. possible yeah. and we yeah. always look forward to the work coming in. I've got an Oshi piece on my awesome. on yeah. my wall at home. Yeah, I treasure it a lot. It's a, yeah, so it's an all-round positive feedback cycle. Hi, my name's Jim. Um, I don't like the label artists and I chat to people here and I help out a bit here in different things with how aspects of like homeless people and survival and squatting and stuff. But I like propaganda stuff and I mix poetry with stuff I write. And um, but my art form, or if, it's, if you call it an art form, it's like Luddite. I'm pretty like, I'm not very computer savvy and lots of different stuff like that, yeah? So mine's very basic, basic and like, they help me and they help me do the forms and stuff. And I'm not charging, I'm not selling my stuff. Mine's, mine's propaganda, so it's with propaganda, it's exposure, putting it out. But they, they gave me a feeling 
Um, like, obviously, I had friends I've shown stuff and they like poetry I've written, but I've tried to put pictures and stuff to it. Gave me a little bit of confidence to say, like, yeah, we, we want your style of stuff here, because, like, in a kind of way, and they, so they give you license. And when people give you license, it, it can make things a lot more easier, things flow a bit differently. So I'm here with the artist uh, known around Bristol as Crack Baby, and he is going to tell us a little bit about his relationship with PRSC and some of the stories and things he's done here. Uh, so, hi, how's it going? Do you, do you, can I call you CB for short? If you like, yeah, you can call me whatever you want, <laughs> apart from my real name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Street art in Bristol, it's a pretty annoying scene, to be honest. <laughs> It's, it's like, Br Bristol's full of mediocre graffiti artists and mediocre spitters. <laughs> Everybody wants to be an MC. Do you want to be an MC? No, I don't. I couldn't, no. I couldn't spit if my life depended on it, man. <laughs> so what do you think about the kind of intersection between older artists and younger artists on the street? Well, there's, there's a lot of us older guys still, still out late at night climbing up high. And I, just, I just didn't think I'd be doing that still at my age. It's just something I never stopped, you know. We saw, uh, when I was a kid up up north, growing up in Yorkshire, um, in, the, in the 80s at some point we seen that wild style on a video. Instead, of, we didn't have subway trains to paint, we had buses, so yeah, we were just scrolling all over buses. Proper hip-hop night, you know. So best, yeah. best late night story? Yeah, we, we like getting high and climbing high, a lot of our stuff. The only people who see it are other people out painting up high and, it's kind of a pretty like niche audience for the, for those kind of things, yeah. Maybe pay respect to some of the some of the guys who died, um, like Sony CK1. Um, it's awful, man. It's like risking your life to put a tag up and then dying because you fall from a great height. That's just savage, you know. You know? It's so sad. And then big up Sesk. Uh, there was a time we walked around Bristol. If you look up Sesk, that legend was just written big everywhere, literally covered the city. And, yeah, he ended up in prison for it, like, he got him for it. So can I ask you, with the danger involved and the kind of risks and things like that, so what propels you to kind of keep going out there? I mean, I'm all about keep art it, but, you know, I'm not risking my life. You get a few pieces up and, and people start noticing, you know, it's very addictive, I think. But I think that's, that's why there's loads of guys around my age and why we're still still out regularly. Do you use uh, social media, anything like that? Or is it all just uh, kind of people who know, know? Yeah, we just do it. It's not really about making money out of it. That's, that kind of, I feel that's why I like tagging rather than like, I mean, it's, it's nice to do paintings and stuff like that. And I draw a lot. I like drawing with pencil on paper. And um, But yeah, it's like all the kind of commercial side to it, trying to avoid like the plague, you know, just do it for and just do it. Innit? Thanks so much for your time. Uh, and hopefully I can, you know, maybe spy some of your pieces from Heights sometime. Yeah, Thanks. Yeah, be good, It'd be great. Great. So you can find all this through People's Republics of Stokers Cough, PRSC. Uh, their, you know, their website is prsc.org.uk. And uh, yeah, we'll have links to that all in the bio in the description. Thanks so much for your time. And guys, it's great to see uh, amazing people doing amazing things in the community. Thanks very much, Douglas. We really appreciate what you're doing as well. It's great. Just keep the message out there. Cheers, guys. Oh, man. So that was a great, great time at PRSC. And so grateful that you guys have had the awesome experience of seeing that random intersection that really makes this space so special, how it affects the people who are using it and why we need so many more of these spaces out in the world. <laughs>